to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So today I'm going to be doing how I take and edit my Instagram pictures. So I'll show you what my Instagram looks like on the screen here so you can kind of see my whole theme that's going on. I don't really have a theme but you get what I'm saying. You can have a look at what it looks like and if you want to go follow me you can. There's always links in the description box but um, if you just want to search it, it is Catherine underscore Bond with two D's at the end of Bond. It's kind of complicated. This video is also a collab with Darby. I've done one with her before, so I'm sure you all know her. But she's doing the same video. She has an amazing Instagram, so I'm really excited to see how she edits her pictures because pretty sure I'm going to get some tips and tricks from that. But yeah, I'll link her channel and her Instagram and her video all down below. So if you want to go check it out, you can. I'm first of all going to take you through how I take my pictures. So I'm going to do two types of pictures. The first one's going to be like an outfit kind of mirror picture. And the second will be how I take my selfies. So I'm going to go on to another camera now. So I'll see you in that bit. So what I just used to take my pictures is my phone. So I just go to the camera. And then I swipe along to square. I just find it the easiest to take them in square. And then I pose. And then I take. And I take loads. So then I might do some more full length ones. Like that. Now on to how I like pose. Which I know sounds silly. But I have like found the perfect pose. And I literally do it in every single one of my outfit pictures. So I'm going to share my secret with you. What I do is put one leg behind the other like that. And then you like stick your hip out like that. And that is how I normally take all of my pictures like that. And I find it is the most flattering angle ever. Sometimes I'll do like one leg. This one is very unstable. God, oh my God. Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend this one in heels. But sometimes I do like one leg in front of the other like that. But not the best in heels because you just fall over so for my selfies i just use my phone this is the iphone 7 plus and i just use the front camera on this but use whatever phone you have it really doesn't matter but i just slide across to like the square mode on it put the front camera on and then i use the volume buttons to like take all of my pictures i just find it a lot easier than having to like tap it so hold my phone like that and I always tilt my phone slightly I never have it kind of completely up always slightly tilted and then yeah I just take lots and lots of pictures of myself really I normally end up with like 100 pictures and I have to go through and like sieve out the one I like if that but yeah um I'm now going to get into how I edit all of this so I've moved over to this side of the screen and that way I can kind of put the video of my iPhone here so you can see what I'm doing so the first thing I do is go over onto like the picture bit so I can see all the images I've taken I've taken a lot, I know. So I then go into Facetune, and that's the first app I use. And I just open one of the ones I like. Where are they? There we go. So let's do that one there. Okay. So we've got a picture. First thing I do is go to the canvas bit. I then go fixed ratio 1 1, and then I crop the picture so I get what I want in the picture. So now the second thing I do is go to the whiten tool and then I just start in like one corner and then I literally just whiten all of like the background really. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. Then what I do is I go onto the smooth tool. Now I don't really use this to smooth out my skin but I sometimes find that the pictures come up a little bit grainy especially after you whiten them. So I literally just smooth like the background and if you have an eye in your top, no worries, just smooth out all of the creases. So do a bit of that. 
smooth out some of them. Same with the bed. You can smooth some of these out a little bit. You can see how I've smoothed out some of like the creases on the top, but that's all good. Next thing I go to is the patch tool. So the next thing I do is use the patch tool. So I just click on it and then I just do it in two sections. But all you're basically doing is just copying one of those like circle things to where the other is. So you just want to get that white wall up there. And there we go. We're good. See? Doesn't that look great? And I'm now gonna save that. That's the last thing I do in Facetune. So next thing I do is open Snapseed. So I then open the same picture down here. So first thing I do in here is press that little like pencil thing. And then I go to Selective. And then what I do is I just place these kind of around. So you could just click once. And then you can like pinch your fingers together to make it smaller or pinch them together to make it big. And that red bit is the bit that's going to kind of be edited. So just select what you want. So I just want to select the background. I don't want it to select me. So I do this in like a few different chunks. So I'm just starting up here. And the first thing you can do is take the brightness up a bit. And I like a bright background. So I always do that. So I do a few of these, I'm just going to put one over here as well and take that brightness up and it does get to a point where you can't do any more. You just press the tick and then you can go back on it. Do some more if you wish but this is the before and after of that select tool so you can see it really does kind of just brighten it all up. That's all I do on here, give it a tick then press these like three button things up here. Then click save and then I do export. Okay, now into the next app, Visco Cam. I do a lot of apps. I love editing my pictures. It's one of my favourite things to do. Like, I much prefer editing them than actually taking them. I just realised I wasn't recording my screen for that whole time. So I'm going to have to redo, like, all of the steps so I can show you the screen again. I will. Let's just carry on from now and I'll do the screen later. So now in ViscoCam, I just open up that picture. And then my favourite like filter on, is it ViscoCam or VSCO Cam? I have no idea, is A5. So just this one. I'm not sure if it actually comes with it. I don't think it does. Um, if you can't get it, all you need to do is scroll right across and then go to that little shop and then scroll down a lot of them you buy but I think this one was free but it's part of the aesthetic series so yeah just click on that and I'm pretty sure it's free so and you can download it from there but anyway let's go back so I use A5 and it looks a bit kind of full on there just click on it and I take that down to about there so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not sure I'm going to do anything else. Occasionally I'll go into like the actual editing and maybe like up the brightness. Um, but yeah, that is it. I'm then going to save it. I then take it to an app called Unum. I don't know, U-N-U-M. I have no idea. I'm the worst at pronunciation. But this is where I literally just plan out my Instagram. Um, because I am organised like that and I like to plan it out. So just click on an empty space, click on like the little add sign and then I just put and then once it's on there and then I can just move it to wherever I feel like it. Um, yeah and kind of just see where it would suit. Okay so now on to the selfies and how I edit that. Camera camera just cut out as usual everything goes wrong with me but yeah I'm doing my selfies so picture I have chosen for this is this picture here first thing I do is I kind of zoom in on my face I have a look what needs fixing what do I not like what do I do like so the first thing I want to do is I want to smooth I mean we see a bit of texture on the forehead and the cheeks and makeup looks a bit patchy so 
gonna just smooth a little bit I try and not do this like loads because then I feel like it looks too fake so that's the before that is the after so you can see the difference there so just tick the tick on that now um, sometimes I whiten the background this background's already pretty white but I mean I could do a bit more whitening here and then like I was saying earlier you can whiten the hair as well to make it look a bit brighter so I'm just doing a little bit on the hair to make that look a little bit brighter so you can see that's the before and after and you can see it really has taken like those kind of brassy orangey tones out of my hair then I save to my camera roll then I just take this one straight to VSC cam. I don't really worry with Snapseed because there's not really much to do. It's a pretty plain background, can't really do much with it. But yeah, then I just see what I want. Sometimes that A5 filter does not look good on selfies. It just makes it look a bit weird. So I'll go ahead and like do all of the exposure, all of the exposure and contrast and all that kind of manually. So I just see what it looks So I could up that exposure a little bit to 0.2. Then maybe up that contrast. There we go. Then my favourite bit is to down that temperature. And that's what gives it that kind of bluey tone. So you can see it's before, that's after. Before, after. Before, after. Not much difference, but it's quite good. And I just saved that. But that is my Instagram.